everybody. So I've had kind of a rough time getting in front of the camera recently. I don't really know why that is. Uh, maybe it's stress. I think it's stress. I've had a pretty stressful couple of weeks. Just stuff going on. You know, stuff without being an adult. And I was... I was thinking like I really, I really gotta start filming. Like Vlogmas is coming up. Actually, it's Vlogmas right now. I filmed this ahead of time. Don't judge me. Um, and I need to get like things organized because I told myself I really want to do Vlogmas this year. I really want to commit to it. And so I don't know. I'm making myself do this today. And when I was thinking through all the things I needed to film and do, and I actually have a lot of makeup on because I was testing makeup for a look earlier. So I'm just like, I was like, I got makeup on. I might as well film. I was like, well, what would get me to film? And I instantly knew what it was. Um, so one of the things I've been doing or planning for this holiday season as part of Vlogmas is to feature like little gift guides of like what I think the best things are within a certain category. Now, these aren't really sponsored. They are literally like my opinion on what's the best product. The stuff in these guides, uh, I mean, a couple of the things have come for free, but they're not included because a brand sent it to me. Like, things only got included that I, like, really loved. And today's is, like, makeup and beauty. It's mostly makeup. There's a couple beauty things in there. But I just wanted to show you guys, like, what I love and what I think would make great Christmas gifts. Um, some of them will splurge, some of them are cheaper. It's just kind of like a mix. And also, it's just stuff I really wanted and I wanted an excuse to buy. Uh, which... <laughs> I love holiday season and vlogging during holiday season because then I can be like, I need this for work because most of the time I can't. So it allowed me to splurge on a couple things that I'd been looking on and doing a lot of research on and watching a lot of videos on. And I feel like I've got a really good selection of like what you could potentially get someone for holiday season in the beauty sector. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. It's not going to be a super long video. The first thing I got is this rainbow eyeshadow palette from Violet Voss. Now how I got on turned on to Violet Voss is that I bought another um like what do you call it palette from her called the Ride or Die. This is also an awesome palette. I purchased it myself and I've been using it like crazy. It's literally like all your base shades for eyeshadow you could ever want. And I was really impressed. The pigmentation was good. It stayed well and so then I was like, okay, well, what do I need in my makeup collection? And I started researching like a brights palette because I, I like my brights palettes are just not staying like, or, you know, they, I put them on and then they blend out. It's just not, I mean, blend out, not like the good way, like in the disappear from your face way. And so I was like, I really just want a super bright palette, but I want it to be effective. And this one, from what I've read on the reviews and researched, is really, really amazing. Now, the palette itself looks awesome on the outside. And then it's literally bright, shimmery versions of all the rainbow colors. The colors were great. I also like that most of them can be used in normal looks as well. Um, I would like to get something like this in matte too, but the ratings and reviews on this have been just phenomenal. And I think for anyone who wants to like give somebody a rainbow palette, but that's also really, really usable, this would be it. Like all of these shades would blend and go well into a normal makeup look. Some of the brights palettes you get like are not actually very usable in normal looks, especially like neons and stuff like that. Like it's really hard to like put neon in an everyday look, but these are really great to kind of mix in. I love this royal blue because it's not a traditional rainbow color you get in these palettes, but it's a really gorgeous color. So yeah, that's why I picked this out. All these are linked down below, but literally like I just picked out what I wanted <laughs> based on reviews and based on my own education of the beauty sector. The next is this Urban Decay Elements set. Um, I also purchased this. And let me tell you something, I have been staring at this for a little while now, and I just, the reviews were bananas again. That's how a lot of this got purchased, by the way, reading the reviews. I was a little hesitant because I hate palettes that have like, well, you'll see, a lot of like space around them. I'm like, I'm carrying this huge thing around and there's all this white space. But the design is like bananas cute. That's my only irritation. I was like, why do we have all this white space? I know it's like the design, but like, come on, yo. You can see me again. <gasps> Hi. 
Hi, me. Um, I just loved the colors in this, and I don't know. I just thought it would be fun. There's also some colors that I'm, like, sorely missing in my collection, like this pink color. I do not have a good pink in my collection. I, I bought it because it looked cool. I'm going to be real here. I bought this because it looked cool, and if you get it for someone, they will probably open it and go, this looks cool. And sometimes, that's all you really need in life. I mean, look at the front. The front. It looks cool. I know the makeup's quality based on the reviews, but basically, I bought it because it looks cool. I love how I like tried to pretend like it was because I was like makeup. I'm gonna give you some makeup advice. No, the other one I did buy for the for like reviews and like actual needs in my makeup collection. But that one, that one was purchased just because it looks really dang cool, and the product works. Sometimes you just buy cool things. No shame in that game. This I bought for dirt cheap. I think these are always like super fun little gifts is like those little get ready towelettes you can put on your hair while you're doing your makeup. Why I got this is I think it's a super cute gift to give something like this which you can get for a couple bucks on Amazon with a hair mask. And let me tell you why I think everyone should give someone a hair mask. Everybody's hair is a hot mess in the winter and nobody ever thinks to give somebody like a hair gift. We always give people like candles, nail polish, and like that type of stuff. But let me tell you, face masks. But this is like such a surprise gift. You get a good mask that you know is a good investment. This is the Amica one. I know it's a good investment. It's expensive, but I know it works. And I give a little hair mask with this, like a cute little gift. And this is a gift that someone will definitely use. It's not gonna get regifted because we all want like a good hair mask. I like Amica's. There are some other really great and expensive hair masks as well. This is a little bit more on the pricier end. I will link to them down below, but I think it's like an amazing gift and more people should do it. Maybe this is a little self-centered because in the winter my hair just becomes its own like monster and even combing it is painful and like makes me regret living, but... <laughs> But I think I'm not alone in that. And I think this is so cute together. So do that if you want. The next is also related to hair. This is my gold standard best product I've ever had for hair. It's the only product I've repeatedly and repeatedly bought because I believe in it so much. I think it's very pricey. I think it's very pricey and the average person will not buy it for themselves, making it an ideal gift. It is the Oribe texturizing dry spray. This is the ish. Every photo shoot I've been on, they use this. Every time I've like had a hairstylist and they're not like in a salon that's like sponsored by X brand, they use this. This is the only product that I've consistently seen with every hair and makeup team I've ever worked with. And let me tell you why, because it's just amazing. It does all of the things you want. You want to hold your hair, do it. You want to get some volume, you do it. You want to just fix it, I don't know. It just, it does everything. It's magical and I know it's overpriced and I know it's expensive, but it's worth it and a great gift. Seriously, the best. Okay. Next, this is a duel. This is Smashbox's contour and spotlight palette and it's called Holidays. Okay, like a hippie theme. A hippie dippa theme. Now, here is why I have this has every single review said shocked so much better than I thought I love it because we've got four highlight shades here on the outside and they're really like subtle highlight which I like because I feel like this over the top highlight is going to start fading out and we're going to just want that natural glow and these are the type of highlights that are going to give you that and then you have a bunch of different um, contouring patterns you can use Overall, the colors are really good and they don't read as warm because like warm is what makes you look orange as a lot of the others. I love how this has like a very blue tint to it so you know it's going to be safe. This is a little bit warmer but for the most part, the feedback has been that they run cool and it's like uh, honestly like a super surprisingly good contour palette. So I picked that up to kind of develop my own contouring and I felt like this is a really solid gift for someone who like me wants to do a little bit more with contouring or learn about contouring, contouring and they can get all of the things they would need to do that and more for a fairly inexpensive price. So for someone who's just stepping into makeup or is a little bit more experienced in makeup and just wants something to travel with, this is pretty awesome. Um, super pumped about this, honestly. Uh, I think this is like an amazing value. It's like 39 bucks and it's originally like a hundred something. I 
love holiday gift sets. Everything is so like cheap. Or they like trick you into thinking it's cheap. It's not really actually cheap because they're getting you with like smaller sizes. Next, I'm gonna talk about two lipsticks that only come out during the holiday season. Mine are open because I could not resist getting into them like as soon as they came. But they are the Gingerbread Man and the Gingerbread Girl Matte Lipstick Colors. These are, even though they are holiday themed, some of the best like seasonal all year round darker lipsticks. Everybody looks good in this color. I've put it on a couple different people. I would definitely say the Gingerbread Girl is a little bit more like forgiving. This definitely has a little bit more orange tint to it. But I love these and they taste like candy. They taste, well actually they taste like cookies. They taste literally like gingerbread cookies. And every time I wear it, people are like, what lip gloss is that? And I, not lip gloss, lipstick. I get more questions and comments about this color than anything else. And it was just like a splurge purchase because I was like, well, oh, festive, I love the holidays. But then turned out to be one of my favorite beauty products right now. So I would definitely recommend the gingerbread uh, matte lip from Too Faced. It's awesome. More lip stuff. So this is a brand that I have become like obsessed with. Uh, I got one of their lip glosses in Dolly and then I've just started buying up others and it's Buxom. Now Buxom did send these to me but like honestly I've bought so much bunks, but Buxom lip stuff recently that it uh, doesn't matter. So <laughs> it's kind of fun because each of the little kits that they have have like this little eye mask. I don't know where you would wear that, but if you felt the need to put on a mask, it comes with one. I actually think it's like one of those sticker masks like for makeup. I don't think it's like a real mask you can put on. Um, but the this one kit comes, this is the Black Tie Tees, and it comes with a variety of different products. So it comes with White Russian, Celeste, and several other colors, like very neutral colors here. And you're getting a variety of different types of products. So I like this one for someone who's never tried Buxom. This is probably the better one. So this is the Party Girl Pout. And these are the lip balm kits. So they have some really amazing lip balms and colors. So this is basically their standard set. The only color that's a little funky on this one, not funky, but like different. Funky not as in bad. Funky is like not in normal. It's flushed. Flush has a little bit of a purple tint to it. You can see the colors here. And again, it comes with that mask. So I just thought these were really cute and I like this. So that's why I put them in this haul. Next, I have more lip stuff. This is Bite Beauty. Now, I love Bite Beauty. I don't love their lipsticks. I'm going to be real with you. Their lipsticks, not for me. Not my thing, but I do love their agave lip stuff. So they have a lip mask, they have like a lip chapstick, and they have this um, thing right here. It's the lip mask. So you have like the full exfoliator, the chapstick, and the lip mask. These are my gold standard for like lip balm, moisturizer, whatever it might be. I use them all the time. I've noticed a huge difference in my lips. They're not paying me to say this. It's literally something I use. I can pull out like 13 of them from my drawer over there because they're everywhere. They're always in my bag. They're always just like, I wonder if I have one sitting around right here. I probably do somewhere on this counter have one. I just have too much crap everywhere to find it. But I thought this was really great for someone to like get introduced to them. This is the Party Prep. It's got the champagne color um, lip mask, which is a little pink to it. And it doesn't really have that much color. None of them have much color, except for the red one has a little bit of like a cherry tint to it. But they have great taste. They're, you can eat them because the products in them are not harmful to you at all. And I really believe in this product, and that's why I wanted to include it. And this is like a good intro because it's tiny. It's not too expensive. But this amount right here... That's actually going to last you quite a long time. I have a tube that I like got like a year ago and I'm still going on it. It also might be because I have like four tubes of this stuff and they like are just whatever ones in my pocket at the time. But it's the thought that counts. It's, it seems to last a long time. Next, I literally tried to buy this last year and failed. I did not buy it in time. So if you like this, buy it as soon as you see this video. This is the Peter Thomas Roth like set of all the masks. I love these masks. I have the gold, I have the uh, Hungarian thermal water, and I have the pumpkin enzyme. I use those masks a lot. The pumpkin enzyme does a really great job of getting the like gunk off your face. I feel a huge difference. The gold is super moisturizing, and this thermal water one really kind of restores your skin and moisturizes, and it just feels cool, like your face gets warm. As far as the others, I just, I don't know anything about them. I don't. I know nothing. I can't tell you if they're good or not, but I can tell you that at least 
three out of the six are phenomenal products. And my guess is, my guess is that the other three are also really good, but I can't tell you for sure because I've never used them. Um, but yeah, so I'm glad I actually scored this this year. This brings me to my last thing on this list. And it's funny because this brand, which would be Pat McGrath Labs, usually everybody gets the eyeshadows. And that's why I was like, I'm not getting the eyeshadows. I'm not buying your $125 eyeshadows, Pat McGrath. I mean, I might succumb at some point, but like, for real, yo, I just, I can't do it. I don't care how long they stay. I'm not doing it. Okay, so I read a lot about this lip gloss. It's called Flesh Astral. The box is cool, but this is a good way to give something from a brand of makeup that's like everybody's like, oh my god, it's the best makeup ever, without having to spend a bajillion dollars. Also, I feel like everybody needs a really good nude lipstick right now. It's just really in trend and it's only gonna get stronger into spring summer. So it's like a great color to base. It's also got a nice shimmer to it, so it will actually be a good topper on top of a darker lip. So for example, I have this on right here. And if I put this color on top, See, it's super sheer. It's sheer enough that I can wear it over a darker lip gloss or matte lip to give a nice shine. And I even am like really digging how shiny that is. Without having like a ton of product on my face, I have like very little product on my face. I have actually have a lot of makeup on right now. But on my lips, I just put a little bit of that gloss on and it made a huge difference. It brought my pokos back to life, sucker. Sucker pucker, I don't know. So here's where we get to the good part. I'm actually gonna give you guys some of the stuff because holidays are awesome and presents are awesome and who doesn't love presents? Or the chance to get presents? So leave a comment down below about how you're gonna start fresh in 2019 because we all know 2018 has been a very difficult year. And you could win the Smashbox Contour Palette, the Bucks and Balls, the Balls, Balms. <laughs> the Urban Decay palette, and the Peter Thomas Roth mask set. So you can prop your face, you can contour it up, you can get yourself some amazing eyeshadow, and then your lips be looking fierce. Basically, it's a beauty starter kit. And yeah, so leave a comment down below and may your chances of winning be great. May a whole lot of people watch this video so your chances actually suck. <laughs> I'm kidding. Am I? <laughs> I just like when people watch my video. It makes me feel special. <laughs> anyway, I say it. It does not look better. <laughs> it does not like me look good. I'm like, watch my video now. That face. That face, I have never looked better than when I do this. <laughs> okay.